Hello, I'm Chris Menard. In this Zoom video, I'm going to answer a question I get all the time in my YouTube comments. It is about creating polling for Zoom meetings that do not use your personal meeting ID or PMI. So let me discuss how you can create these um, poll questions for dynamic meetings. First of all, this only works with a licensed account. It will not work with a free or basic account. Step one, go ahead and sign into your Zoom account on the web. That is the very first step. Step two, go to meetings. When you go to meetings, I'm going to cover this very quickly. There's really two type of polling questions. They're the polling questions that are with your personal meeting ID. So if I go to personal room, here is my personal meeting ID, PMI. And if I make a meeting based on my personal meeting ID, my poll questions are always available to me, which I created right here when you go to poll. I've got one poll that has one question. One poll can have multiple questions. There's only two type of questions when you do a poll. Yes or no, also known as true or false, or Zoom calls it single choice. You also have multiple choice or multiple answer. That could be um, check the type of cars you've owned in the past and you would see Ford, GM, Toyota, and they can check multiple answers. So those are the only two types. There are no fill in the blank. There's no matching questions. Those are the only two poll questions you have. So this one's easy. Any meeting with my PMI, the poll questions are always available. Here's the problem. I always encourage you to not use your PMI the majority of the time. You will use your PMI when you're meeting with people you know really well, close coworkers, maybe your department team, friends, family. Your PMI is great for that. But don't use your PMI with people you don't know. Outside vendors, potential new customers or clients, that is not a meeting you should use your PMI. But what if you want polling with those meetings? Here's your answer. Go to meetings, go to upcoming, and here's a tip from me. If you hit schedule a meeting, topic, description, and then the word when. If you notice, it doesn't say anything about using a template. That's because I don't have any. Let me go back to prove that. If I go to meetings, Meeting templates, I don't have any templates. So you're going to make multiple templates if you want to do this, but even one would work. Here's what I mean by multiple templates. Let's say that I meet with customers about a new product fairly frequently, and I might want to run polling during that meeting. Well, I might have a meeting template for that new product. But I also do Excel training, so the questions I ask, the poll questions for Excel, are completely different than the poll questions for the customers. Um, if I meet with vendors, those poll questions are going to be different. So you can create as many templates as you want for the appropriate meeting. So here we go. I'm going to do an Excel training. So I want to have poll questions for an Excel training. I'm making this up, but here we go. Meetings. Schedule a meeting. I am going to create my template with my poll questions for Excel. Set, I'm not putting in a description. I don't even care about the date and the time. But what I do care about, go ahead and put in a reasonable duration here. So I'm going to make this three hours for this Excel training class I'm doing. Uh, do you want to require a passcode in the waiting room just to prove this? I'm going to turn off the passcode but leave the waiting room running. I could have them both running just to see if this works. I know it's going to work. Fill in all this other information. If you notice, I haven't even done any questions yet. So hit, so hit save. You get to the second section of this where you put in more information. There's that dynamic meeting ID for this one. Here we go, poll questions. I'm going to add just two, I'm going to add one poll, two questions real fast. Add. Here 
Have you used Excel before? Yes, no. That is a single answer question. Add another question. So I'm going to have two icebreaker questions. This question would be, if you've used Excel before, what are your favorite Excel features? This would be multiple choice, and I would have in here sorting, filtering, formulas, pivot tables. I would have a long list of Excel features, and people can pick multiple options. Just to have something in here, I'm just going to put something in here, pivot tables. I'm going to just put three. Save. I have one poll. That should have been what are. It's okay. So I've got one poll with two questions. I can add more polls and more questions if I want to. But here's the key. I've got this set up for this meeting. And this meeting actually is not even going to occur. This is the meeting that I set up the polls. And I want to save it as a meeting template. That's why I named it Excel Poll Questions. So save as a meeting template. Save as template. Watch this. Go back to meeting. So there's that sitting here in meetings upcoming. You don't need this. Feel free to delete it. By the way, notice that meeting ID. That is not my PMI. But now I do have a meeting template. So now when I go to schedule a meeting, Remember, I said use as a template was not showing up earlier because I didn't have any. So now I'm going to call this. By the way, I recommend you go ahead. Don't even type the topic yet because watch this. When I pull from that template, it puts it in as the topic. So that's not really the name of the topic. This is Excel training. And this class is going to happen on March 22nd, 2022. I'm putting in a date. I could put in my description. It did remember, if you recall, I turned off the passcode, but I did leave on the waiting room just to prove that point did work. Um, you know what? It did not remember the duration, so just remember that, so don't worry about the duration. But it did remember that I turned off the passcode. And I'm going to hit save. Remember, this is step one, creating it. I should have one poll at the bottom of this meeting with two questions because it's based on a template. There we go. That easy. So what I'm recommending you doing is you can have at least obviously one template for your dynamic IDs. That number is different, by the way. I think it was 955 or 995. If you need to edit a template, when I tested this, it only works if you edit the template, add more questions, save the template again. It won't change the previous meetings based on this template, just so you know that also. But if you want to delete it, watch this. I really don't want to, but I am. Delete. Delete. Back to upcoming. Back to edit. Member save. That poll is still there, so that actually just proved the point that I just said about changing questions and all that. Once you've scheduled the meeting based on a template, that is it, even if you change the template. Anyway, I hope that answers your questions about how do you set up polls that are not using my personal meeting ID. Feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I appreciate your time. Keep the Zoom questions coming. Have a great day.